I'm sure you're going to give me a couple of skills that have stood the test of time there, but did anything new pop up? So what, what are you looking at this year when you start to build your lips as far as skill set needed in order to do well at the Cognizant Classic? 15 holes with water. Just this course is the opposite of a birdie fest. It's a bogey fest and maybe even a double bogey fest. It, looking for guys who can get the ball in the fairway, get the ball on the green, make your two putts, you know, get from point A to point B as economically as possible. Take your par, your occasional birdie and move on. Not looking for any cowboys this week. I'm looking for more conservative golfers this week and guys who are good at bo avoiding bogey and guys who get the ball in the fairway and get the ball on the green and get to the next tee. I guess the really the place that I focus this week is that that par three scoring holes five, seven, 15, and 17 are your par threes this week. And you've got to be able to survive these four holes over the course of four rounds, especially the first two rounds in order to make the cut. And I think they kind of provide or they encapsulate what you need to do well here, which is you've got to be a great approach player. If you miss a green on a par three, which your chances are you're going to do over the course of four rounds, you've got to be able to get up and down from that Bermuda grass, and you have to be able to putt that Bermuda grass. And 